In the lecture, we heard about the electromagnetic spectrum, which consists of multiple wavelengths all the way from radio to gamma rays. So we can look at the universe at any of these wavelengths. Till now, we have learned about looking at the universe in the visible sky. But at IIT Indore, we also have telescopes through which we can look at the universe in the radio frequency. Most of us are familiar with the radio because of the FM that we listen to, the Wi-Fi, the ham radio through which we can connect with the people wirelessly around the world without the internet. So because of such long wavelengths, we also require a bigger telescope to look at the object at these frequencies. Some of the interesting characteristics of radio are they can easily transmit through air and they reach us. They do not cause any damage to human and also many of the interesting and fascinating astrophysical phenomena can be observed at these frequencies. Now let us have a look at the radio telescope we have at IIT Indore. Each antenna consists of three major parts the control system, the dish and the feed. The antenna control system moves the dish in the direction of source. The dish reflects the radio waves towards its focal point where the feed is located. The feed collects these waves and converts them to electrical signals. From the feed, the signal is passed on to the front end where it is amplified. The same process happens at all the antennas. Finally, the signal from each antenna is combined, amplified and digitized at the back end. The entire arrangement of antennas is called as interferometer. Here we have four antennas, but in principle, we can have any number. After getting the data from the interferometer, we use various software and codes to study the source and try to understand the physics that is happening millions of light years away from us.